Okay. So lately, I've been watching um, the American news, the HLN and CNN, that sort of thing, because my mom is obsessed with these sorts of cases and just murder stories and lock up abroad and just crime stories. I don't know why. She just has this fascination, like, what if this could happen? Like, <laughs> I don't know. She's, she's incredibly paranoid, it seems. But, yeah, so I've, the ones that have caught my eye are the Jody Arias case and then the cop killer, alleged cop killer, Christopher Dorner. So let's start off with Jody Arias. I believe she did it. I believe she did it. You know why? Because she keeps changing her story. It seems like every day it's a new thing. But not every day. But she's changed her story like three times. She's recanted like one or two of them already. So it's like, how am I supposed to believe you? How am I supposed to believe you? And then it seems like this domestic violence, uh, a, a victim of abuse, it just seems like a last line of defense, like she's looking for pity from the jury because they tend to be biased towards female. So now she's making it harder for women who actually go through abuse. I mean, they say that in these types of situations, women make like at least five attempts to leave. But how come nobody's ever heard of this abuse? Not your family, not your friends, um, not his ex-girlfriends, not his family. It's, he doesn't seem to have this kind of history. So where where is this coming from it just it just makes it really hard for me to believe her and the way she killed him i mean she cut him his neck from ear to ear stabbed him through the heart 29 stab wounds a shot in the head it's like no i ca i cannot believe that oh i'm a, I'm a victim of abuse cuz it just seems too excessive too excessive and the thing is when you stab one someone you have to come in close contact it, it's an action it's an intimate act not intimate in like oh lovey-dovey but you actually have to interact with that other body where shooting somebody i mean if you shoot somebody 29 times i mean that's still excessive but you're still detached there's still some space you know and it's less time so that's why i believe I believe she did it. I mean, like, it's also her body language and just some things don't add up. Like, cause she's talking about their sexual relations and she said that he made her have anal sex. But you've been having anal sex with your ex-boyfriend. I mean, he just testified to that. And you said it was painful that time. So that time means you've had it on different occurrences. On, on different occasions. So, I, I just don't understand. I don't understand. It's, so, I mean, there is such a thing as spousal rape, but at the same time, she never said no, and she even admits to it. I never said no. So, at that point, it's hard to determine... It's hard to determine consent. I mean, if she's in the position where she can say no, she's able to say no, she's sober then and then you were kissing him as well so to me it seems like you're encouraging the act in that sense i mean it's one thing like you're kissing the guy or whatever and then you decide like he decides like he wants more and wants to go into sex and you're like no i don't want to and you push him off, you do something to indicate there's n no, that no means no, you're not giving consent. I understand that, but if you're just like, bend over and take it, <laughs> I guess it fits this context, then I don't see, I don't see where the abuse comes in. And then she's like, well, he calls me a skink, and he called me porn star, and Pollyanna, I'm not sure what Pollyanna means, if somebody can tell me, like, what that's in reference to. Like, she seems really articulate, almost to the point where she's rehearsed. Like, the vocabulary she chooses to use, it, some of it seems like it's not in her natural vocabulary, that she's just adding it in. That's just my opinion. But, 
The porn star, I don't see that as an insult because of the nature of your sexual relationship. Depending on the context, it could it could be some kind of foreplay compliment type thing, even the skank. I don't know. I really don't know. But the media seems to be really focused on his religion. But the thing I want to say is, the things people do behind closed doors, like in, especially in the bedroom, that's very private and intimate. You expect it to be just between you and the person you're doing whatever it is with. So I'm sure, sh- ah, oh, there's a great saying, like, I'm sure, like, I'm sure every sexual act, somebody is either appalled or amazed by it. Like, I'm paraphrasing here, but the qu- the quote is like that. So even if I somebody's having like missionary somebody could be disgusted by that so yeah so that's what I got to say about the Jodi Arias case the Christopher Dorner case I mean we know he did it we all know he did it the thing is him my question is just why now And maybe it's because of his military training that he was planning for all this time, but that's the main thing. But at the same time, I kind of feel bad for the guy, especially knowing the stuff that goes on in the police force. I did a course on deviance, deviance and conformity, but we mainly focused on deviance. And I had a professor who spent some time in the police force, and just the things that he saw, yes, there's upstanding cops, but there's a lot of cops that are really corrupt. I mean, it's it's common knowledge. Just because you're in the police force or in the military doesn't mean it makes these people holier-than-thou, super-righteous, angelic-type people. No. They're susceptible to fault as well. And some of them go into this profession with the wrong reasons. So, I don't know what was done, what happened, only he and that force knows. I don't know if it's justified, I don't know. I feel sorry for that girl who died, um, who was killed because of who her father was and the relationship to his case. But at the same time, the case, he, he, he feels really human. He doesn't feel like a psychopath or some kind of animal or monster. He just feels really human when you hear like pieces of his manifesto. And it almost makes me feel bad for him but it's hard for me to feel bad for him because of like the people it's affecting i mean he's not going over the going for the guilty parties he's going for like their family members too and i can't i can't accept civilian casualties i'm sorry i i thought that's like a part of some military code you're trying to minimize the effect you have on uh civilians but i must say the thing that even besides that his friend is a dick i i'm just gonna say that his friend is a dick because I know if it was my friend, I'm not not saying this is this is how I would defend him, but I'm saying like if if it was somebody I was close to, and they had had some kind of mental break where they decide, oh I'm gonna go start killing people and like they feel so wronged that they have no one to talk to. I'd feel like I failed on my part as a friend, and then to go on the newscast and have nothing to say nothing positive or anything to say about your friend like me I would have been like like I don't know him I don't know him I'm not friends with him but like if it was my friend I would have been like well I know this person this way and the person I knew wouldn't do something like that I mean if it's true that they wouldn't do something like that and like I feel bad that exactly that I feel bad that they felt so alone or felt like this was their last resort like, I feel bad about that. Not to go like, oh, I can't believe he described me like that in the manifesto. And I can't believe I'm tied up in this fiasco and whatever. You know your friend is going to die. And you know that they were doing this as a last ditch effort to say goodbye. So why do you why do you have to take it upon yourself to make it about you? It's not about you, okay? It's not about you. you I mean, you could say politely, like, I... I, or you could have, you didn't, nobody asked you to go on TV. You could have just been quiet. Nobody would have known it was you, maybe the people close to you, but, but you could have just said, like, I did, I didn't want to speak out on this or for, 
our relationship to be made so public. But the fact that they respected me enough to, to mention me, like, I did value their friendship. Like, you could use this as a better opportunity to help them if they are your friend, just to say, like, oh, come, turn turn yourself in, or, like, I hope you're okay, or, like, something. Like, this was their last message to you, and that's all you got to say? That's really all you got to say? I... I would have defended my friend if it was me. I would have been like, like, th that person had to have been pushed to a point, but it was almost like you jumped on the other end. And I know that there's a lot of people involved and it's a sensitive topic and maybe you shouldn't take sides, but then at least remain neutral. It's your friend. Or argue both sides. Just be like, like I, I don't think it was right for you to go and kill your um the person's daughter but i understand that you were pushed to a point you have been wronged or you feel wronged like you could have prepared your statement before you got on there i don't know just me just me i just felt bad for christopher dorner as the person because of that <laughs> I, don't, I don't know just just from another like person's level because i know if it was me and i was in that situation and somebody like wouldn't talk like i mean i just thought it was a bad friendship thing i know i'm so caught up on the wrong purpose of this case but at this point it's still really early so i don't know i i don't know what to say like it's obvious we know he did it we know he did it we know he's gonna get the debt penalty or these life in prison well you know he's gonna die in prison because those guards are gonna kill him guaranteed knowing how corrupt the pr prison system is and that he is allegedly a cop killer they're gonna kill him but <clears throat> but yeah you it, at that point in time just being a person who's been so pissed after being so wronged oh my god don't even get me started on my group project i could have gone on a killing rampage but <laughs> but i'm just, not to make a joke out of it or to detract from the seriousness or anything but yeah at this point, I'm just rambling. That's uh, that's all I got to say in these two cases. I should have made them two separate videos, I know, but if you want to sit through it and watch.